Uniswap is one of the hottest DeFi apps right now on the Ethereum blockchain. It has hundreds of millions of dollars in daily trading volume. And one of the coolest things about Uniswap is it's an open blockchain protocol. So anybody can connect to it and build their own apps on top of it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own app that leverages the power of Uniswap step by step so that you can build your own blockchain, DeFi apps, you know, whatever. So before we get into that, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you wanna learn how to master blockchain step by step from start to finish, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. Uniswap is by far the most popular cryptocurrency exchange on the Ethereum blockchain. It's a decentralized cryptocurrency exchange that lets you instantly trade tokens. You don't have to use an order book. You don't have to look at candlestick charts or anything like that. You just specify the cryptocurrency you want to uh, purchase and the cryptocurrency you want to purchase with and you just swap the tokens instantly. So Uniswap has crossed, you know, it's, it's about a billion dollars in total liquidity right now. It's time to record this video and you can see it peaked up to, you know, about two billion. And you can see also that it rose really, really fast with this big DeFi boom that's happened lately. And Uniswap is arguably one of the most popular decentralized applications built on top of Ethereum right now. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to use it in your own apps because it's definitely something you need to understand if you want to become a blockchain developer. And one of the reasons for that is Uniswap is a really important project that you know many other projects rely upon. And so you can see here, this is uniswap.info where you can read all the information about Uniswap. You can look at the different liquidity pools and the tokens, for example, and you can see, you know, uh, how much cryptocurrency uh, is locked up in the liquidity pools, like how much uh, Ether in this case, how much Tether are, are together in the same pool. So this is these are really important analytics that you need to understand if you're going to you know build your own projects with Uniswap. So we're going to build a uh, simple version of this, or we can actually you know fetch that information from Uniswap like this. So we'll build an app. It's a Uniswap Explorer that looks at the uh, DAI pair with Ether. And we can see the current DAI price is this on Uniswap and the total liquidity is this. So we're going to build this app together and when we're done, you'll be able to integrate Uniswap into your own projects. So let's go ahead and create this project. So you head on over to github.com. You can find this URL down below. This is the repository for the uh, code solution in the tutorial. So we're just going to clone the project like this, say git clone. All right, and then paste in the URL here. All right, and then enter into that directory, say cd Uniswap tutorial. All right, and then we'll install the packages like this, npm install. And now that that's done, I'm gonna open the project in my text editor like this, I'll just sub dot. So this opens the project in Sublime Text for me, but you don't necessarily have to use Sublime Text. Uh, you can use whatever text editor you like. And if you are using Sublime Text, you may not have this symlink uh, configured. That's okay, you can just open the project manually from your own uh, text editor. And now we can see all the files created here. So let's go ahead and uh, open the source directory and then find components and then app.js and then also uh, index.js. So we'll go ahead and open these two files. These are the main uh, files that have been created in this tutorial, okay? So um, let me explain what's going on here. So this tutorial is inspired by uh, some of the information in Uniswap. So this is the V2 docs, and this is uh, part of their tutorial on how to use the API. So uh, I've created this tutorial inspired by this one, but also adapted it to fit the DAP University Starter Kit. Uh, which is, you know, uh, the canonical UI that I do for all my tutorials. So I've uh, built upon what Uniswap has done and created our own tutorial here. And so let's go ahead and boot up the final code solution and see what we have. So say npm run start. This will just make sure that everything's set up properly. And what this is going to do is start a web server uh, on your machine. You should, go ahead, you should see a browser window. Go ahead and open here. And boom, there we go. So uh, here's the final app. So let's go ahead and uh, go to the code and see how this thing works. And we're actually going to clear this out and uh, build it out step by step here. Uh, but I want to just show you the final code solution just to make sure everything works properly before we get started. So um, what this does is it pulls data from Uniswap and builds out this app that you see here with, with a few different methods. All right. So first and foremost, it uses something called the graph, which is a pretty cool project. Uh, this allows you to pull data from the blockchain without having to connect to it directly. Okay. 
because if you watch any of my other tutorials or maybe you try to build your own blockchain project and you try to load all this information from smart contracts, you know, you need their uh, ABIs, their addresses, and you have to call a bunch of different methods just to hydrate your application with data. It can be really uh, challenging, all right, and kind of a pain. So what the graph does is it lets you make a simple web request to pull out all that information in from the blockchain. And it does it with something called GraphQL, which is a uh, particular way of doing this. I'll explain explain that here in a second. So we're going to use the graph um, with, you know, uh, GraphQL. All right, that's this right here. And we're going to use Apollo inside of our project. So this will all be done in JavaScript. Um, and so, yeah, let me let me break that down a little further. So you can go to our uh, app.js file and see uh, the different libraries here. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and clear out uh, this stuff. We're going to delete some of the code so that, uh, you know, we can actually build it out in our project. So I'm going to clear out this. All right. And then we're going to go inside the uh, app.js file, or sorry, in the render function and clear all this out. All right. So what we'll do is just have this skeleton. And we have all of our imports at the top, so we don't have to go through those one by one. And then we have our index.js file that configures everything. So uh, here are our uh, libraries, the important ones. So the Apollo client, all right and then some related libraries to that, and then also the uh, adapter for React hooks, and then uh, the GraphQL uh, library right here, okay? So these are the important ones, so let's go over that. So uh, again, the graph is a protocol that allows you to pull data in from the blockchain with web requests, so it uses GraphQL instead of like, uh, like a REST. So if you're familiar with like REST APIs, if you've ever used like, you know, uh, curl or if you ever built any kind of restful api you know what that is but graphql basically allows you to, to uh, fetch a lot of data at once and it specifies a syntax for doing that so you can just say hey i want you know here's an example like i want a project and i want the name the tagline the contributors here are the data types and you can specify like the response shape okay so it's pretty cool so you don't have to understand everything about GraphQL in order to follow this tutorial. It's pretty pretty straightforward. But if you want to learn more about it, you can go to graphql.org and uh, check that out. So uh, let's go ahead and start coding out the app here. So the first thing, you, you'll see how it works in action. So the first thing we want to do is basically just create the uh, Apollo client. All right. So Apollo is what's going to allow us to make these GraphQL requests. All right. So this is the first part of the code. And so we basically create a client here uh, and we give it the URL. So this is the URL for the graph and the graph uses these specific subgraphs to talk to different blockchain protocols. So in this case, we're talking to the uh, Uniswap uh, version two. So you can see the Explorer here. Uh, you can go to Uniswap v2 and this is the, uh, th this is the um, one that we're gonna talk to. And so you can see these example queries so you could play around this if you wanted to. Uh, you could you could define different functions and then pass in the uh, types, okay? And then uh, you know here's here's the response over here if you want to do that. So um, we can define a query that looks somewhat like this, all right? So here's the URI, and then uh, we give this client inside of index.js here. You can see client is uh, provided with this Apollo provider. So we wrap our app inside this. So don't worry if this part seems a little too advanced, a little too sophisticated. That's okay. You could just customize this project based on my final solution here. All right. So the next thing we want to do is actually define the queries. Okay. So what we, we ultimately want to do is uh, create a query that looks kind of like this uh for the die price okay we actually define a string inside of uh javascript okay that uh takes the shape of a like a, a query that would work with this protocol so you can say you just create query we're going to look for tokens and then we give it the token address all right and then we want the derived eth and the total liquidity okay so we do the same thing for the eth price okay so we do it for die and then eth Okay, so we have two queries here defined as constants. Again, these are just strings in JavaScript, but we can uh, inject them into the uh, inject them into the API call. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is uh, create some variables inside of our app. Okay, 
like this. So the first is, you know, is the uh, app loading? Well, is the ETH loading or is the ETH price loading? So we do use query that comes from uh, this Apollo React hooks, okay? So this basically allows us to um, make Apollo queries with React and then hook into React's uh, hook API, okay? So we create queries for this. So use query for the ETH price. That's what we inject. We inject the query that we created here. And then also for the die query. Okay, we inject the query here that we created. And here's loading and then the data. All right. And then we pass in the variables for uh, the die query. And we pass in the token address. And this is the actual mainnet die token. All right. So next, uh, we create some variables that we inject into our app like this. We say... Um, ETH price in USD, all right, total die, and then the die price. So, so this is this comes back from uh, the API queries. So basically the die price in ETH uh, comes from this die data that comes from this die query, all right. Total die liquidity comes from the die data as well, and then the ETH price in USD comes from um, the ETH price data that comes back from this query. So all this does is we have, you know, just a recap, we create the Apollo client to talk to the graph right here. We have one query to get the data for DAI, and then one data to, sorry, one query to get the data for ETH. We uh, make those queries here, and then we get back the data from each of those queries, and we format it here. So now we can take all this data and display it in our user interface, all right? So we'll do that like this. Uh, we'll add the nav bar. So again, this is from the final code solution, all right? So we'll paste it in here. So this is just a bootstrap nav bar. And what I've done is added the Uniswap logo here. All right. And then we're just giving it a, uh, a title. So Uniswap Explorer. And then uh, I can just save that. And then next we'll uh, add the main div like this. Boom. All right. And so here's where we display all of our uh, data on the page, all right? So, well, first we add the die logo, okay? So I've taken the die logo, also the Uniswap logo, you can see those here. Uh, Uniswap logo and then the die logo, all right? So we add the die logo to the page and we add the die price, okay? So if, if they're loading, we tell it it's loading, and if not, we add the die price in ETH, okay? And then the ETH price in USD. We multiply those two together to get the actual price, and then uh, the total die liquidity, all right? So now we can see how much die is actually available in Uniswap. So we have the total die liquidity here, and then we uh, co convert it to fixed, all right? So we'll save that, and then refresh the page, and it should work. Refresh, and boom, there we go. So here is the current die price on Uniswap, $1.02, and then the total liquidity is this big number here. <laughs> All right, so that's how you can integrate Uniswap into your own apps with the graph, all right? And that saves you from having to like pull in all this information from different smart contracts and wire them into your project. Like it's such a huge headache and this is gonna save you a lot of time. So I hope you like this video. As always, smash the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. And where can you go from here? You know, you can take the knowledge that you learn from this video and integrate it into, you know, your own project. You could take any of my other free tutorials on this channel and create your own mashup, you know, get creative, all right? So if you're not quite sure how to start, you can just go to my YouTube homepage and find any of my free courses there, like, like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. You know, they'll teach you the basics on how to become a blockchain developer. And if you like those tutorials and you wanna take the next step, or hey, maybe you wanna take a massive shortcut entirely, I can show you how to master blockchain step by step from start to finish. All right, just head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. I'll show you how to build a real world DeFi app, all right, a decentralized cryptocurrency exchange, a lot like Uniswap, all right? So, you know, you can, you can learn to build that so you can create your own apps, you know, become a highly paid blockchain developer, get a job, become a freelancer or whatever, all right? So that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.